Now, in this sim uh, simple application uh, that we have created earlier, Calculate Net Profit, okay, we have introduced the concept of variables, okay, which is uh, sales, sales variable, cost variable, and the profit variable. So remember that variables are used to store data, okay. For example, this sales variable is used to store the user input of sales, similarly cost, and then variables can also store data uh, from other variables. For example, we have the sales minus cost variable, and then the the values will be assigned to the profit variable. Okay. Now variables they have several types. Okay. Um, now variables have data types. Now what I mean is uh, we know that there are numbers. We know that there are uh, characters. Okay. We know that there are true or false values. So all these are different data types. Okay. Similarly, in programming, we can use data types to store our variables, and uh, this is actually good practice. For example, in this code over here, now the sales and the cost variable, they are actually um, numbers. Okay. Now for numbers, we usually usually represent them. Okay. By things like okay, um, integer. Okay, or long. Okay, integer or long. Uh, both actually can store numbers, but uh, long can just store a bigger range of numbers. But it does consume more memory, though. Okay, so if you don't need to contain such a big number, just use integer. So now I want to explicitly. It's good practice to explicitly declare the data type of variable. To do that, you can say dim. Okay, sales. Now, now dim a just means that I'm uh, declaring an a variable it's called sales now s okay as what as an now you then see a pop up integer okay you see that it appears here okay I'll do the same for cost so dim cost s integer okay and because I know profit is also an integer I'll do this dim um, profit s integer okay and then I can output Okay, let me try running the program again. So let's say um, 100 and then, okay. Cost will be, let's say, um, 25 though, then, okay. Okay, now profit is 80. Now take note that uh, what we have, the, the sales is 100, but the cost is 20.5. Yet the result is 80, okay. So there's actually a shortfall of 0 0.5, okay. Now the reason for this is because we have declared them as an integer variable. Okay. Now what we can do is we can change this. Now integers we know they don't store floating points or they don't store, don't store decimal places. So we can change them as double. Okay. Which store floating points. Change this to double. Okay. Let us try again. So 100 cells minus 28.5 equals 79.5. Yay. There we have it. Okay, so the reason why we're able to do this now is because we have changed the data type of the variable. Okay, so you have learned the data type uh, integer, long, and also um, double, which is used to store our uh, figures with decimal places. Decimal places. Okay, and of course, um, we have uh, often we we often uh, need to show strings. Okay, strings are things like uh, words uh, words for example when we do a message box hello world this is actually a string so another type okay uh, let me just do this so data types they include integer long double and also strings okay and also strings and uh, also boolean okay now boolean variables are simply true or false values all right Okay, so how to decide which data type to use? To answer this question, you might just ask yourself what kind of data are you storing? It, if it's a number, then it might be integer. If it's a number with decimal places, then it might be a double. Okay, or if it's just like words, then it would be a string. Or if it's just a true or false value, then I, it will be a boolean. So this is a, a simple uh, uh, simple introduction to variables in the coming examples we show you how to use when integer double string boolean